Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. This evening, uh, well evening for me, um, happy whatever time of day it is uh, for you out there. Uh, this evening we're going to be playing Vampire Survivors, uh, which is something a little bit different from what I usually play, um, but it's something I, I tried out in demo form and now the full version of the game is out and available. I'm really keen to give it a go. Um, so what we'll be playing today is I'm going to be starting the game from scratch. Um, I haven't played a session, haven't unlocked anything. Uh, we're, we're starting afresh with Vampire Survivors and I'm quite interested to see all the things that have gone into it over the course of its uh, its um, early access version and, um, and everything that it has arrived with now. Let's Go over here. Um, I'm going to get the credits up first. There we go. Let's have a look at the credits. There we are. Um, let me know how the sound levels are. Um, I guess we'll get a better idea of that when we get into the game and the, the full music is playing. Um, so the the primary creator is Luca Galante for Vampire Survivors, um, but over its course, lots of people have contributed. So I'll, um, little, I'll scroll down through here. Um, I'm particularly excited that James Stephanie Sterling has been contributing to the game as um, as the writer of the um, some kind of codex for all the uh, characters and creatures. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they've written. Um, <laughs> and there, there, yeah, there are lots and lots of credits in here. Um, some I don't know how serious they are. Um, for example, accidental integration. I don't know what, a ro ro what Robot Teddy means, uh, and so on, but there we go. I guess I, for anybody unfamiliar with the game, um, as I understand it has been quite a, an indie success story, uh, but if, if you're a follower uh, particularly of mine, you might not might not be aware of it possibly. Um, I think the best way for me to describe it is just to read you the description from the Steam store page, so uh, here it goes. Vampire Survivors is a time survival game with minimalistic gameplay and roguelite elements. Hell is empty, the devils are here, and there's no place to run or hide. All you can do is survive as long as you can until death inevitably puts an end to your struggles. Gather gold in each run to buy upgrades and help the next survivor. The supernatural indie phenomenon that lets you be the bullet hell. Uh, yeah, so it's um, not... Uh, I guess it's more on the passive side of gameplay, um, in that you are all you're doing is moving your character around, and all attacks and everything else, all other effects, are um, timed or, or automated by by the AI. Um, I guess we'll have a look at the buttons because uh, I, I guess you can already tell this is in quite a, um, a retro pixel art style. Um, we've got some basic functions here. What's on the second page? Visible joystick no. Damage numbers yes. Yeah, let's see some devilish numbers. Hide stage progression. Ooh. I don't know what that would be. I don't know if that's something that wasn't in the demo version. Classic sound effects. Yeah, sure. Performance mode. Not quite sure what that means. Full screen. I'm playing full screen on my, the monitor I'm currently uh, watching it on, so that's good. Flashing VFX. Let's turn that off. I don't want to... Um, any unnecessary flashing in there if we can help it. There is a Twitch mode, so as we are streaming live, um, I think that's more useful if we have um, an active audience in chat for participation. So if anybody pops along and is interested in trying that out, we can give that a go later on. I think I'll play at least a couple of rounds of uh, of it um, b before we do that. Um, music and sounds. How do I? I probably want the sound effects to be a little bit lower than the music. I would guess. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. So. Uh, yeah. So uh, collection. So there's going to be an awful lot of stuff to unlock. Oh, it tells me what these things are. Experience gem. Increased experience. Gold coin adds one to your gold coins total. Oh, I guess that's the stuff that you need to know about straight away. Um, there's kind of an in interesting information economy in this as well, um, which I, I quite enjoy. Hide completed. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so this is a long list of um, achievements, really. 
um, but they also tend to unlock useful other things and there's oh there's so much here I guess we'll go into it as we um <laughs> wow um, into into the game a bit further but let's get going because I've offered on enough let's start the game so yeah this is what I'm familiar with so we've got a, we can only uh, unlock further characters if we get a bit of money to to spend on them uh, so we start off with Antonio uh, Belpezi who gains 10% more damage every 10 levels which is not not a bad uh, not a bad thing. Uh, a max plus fifty percent. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Um, so after level fifty, we can't we can't expect too too many gains. Um, okay, I'm gonna confirm and start, and you'll see see what happens. So, ooh, the music's different from uh, from the demo version for sure. I think the Ooh, maybe the resolution's a little bit different and the character models are a little bit different. The bats look a bit bigger. Ooh, what's all that? Hang on, there's trees. Can you walk through trees? Oh, you can't walk through trees. There's environment obstacles. Oh no. I thought it was a big featureless wasteland. Now I'm going to get stuck on things. Okay, so well, you can see the, the whip attack. It just goes in the direction you're facing. I think it just goes in the direction you're facing. Yeah. And um, it's on a timer, so it'll just go up automatically. So I'm just using the arrow keys to move around right now um, and I'm gonna... you know what? oh there we go, we've levelled up uh, it will get harder to level up as we go on so we can choose the axe which I do like it's direction wise not so useful but it does do lots of damage I can get the whip to fire in the direction we're not facing as well kind of like on a 1-2 uh, basis. Uh, knife, oh, I'll go for knife I think. Knife's kind of good for clearing a path. Ooh, yeah there's definitely more environmental nooks and crannies than uh, in the demo version I've played previously, which I'm, I'm enjoying. Um, although I think I might find it more challenging. There definitely seems to be a more of a pressing horde of bats in the, the very start of the game than I was expecting. Okay, so yeah, so we get the experience gems from defeating the enemies who are uh, going to be an array of uh, horror, horror themed uh, monsters, typically. Um, I mean, if you're detecting a, uh, a certain uh, Castlevania type of uh, over the top gothic vibe, then I think that's, you know, that is what the game is going for. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got some kind of zombies and bats. Um, anything with a, a special uh, halo around it, I think will give you an extra bonus if you do if you do kill it. So um, the bat down there that's got the, the light blue halo around it, um, I think would either give a, a large sum of experience or might drop a treasure chest uh, from which you can get additional um, power ups um, in. So I think of a word of an addition. In addition to uh, when you uh, level up through experience. Oh, this is quite tricky. I forgot how tricky it is in the end of this before you start to upgrade the character. Okay, so we can do more knifing, we can go axe, or we can have some Santa water which generates damaging zones. Which I never found particularly useful, but let's let's do it as great though. Well, maybe it's uh, maybe it's been souped up a bit. <laughs> you souped up the holy water. So I'm going to look over to the, uh, it's, it's me attempting to multitask, I'm going to look over to my other screen uh, to see how the sound levels are doing. I think they should be alright, but again, let me know if I'm, the music's too loud or too quiet or, I don't think it should be too quiet, hopefully. Uh. Yep, so we get you get skeletons, you can get pirate skeletons. I remember these um these sprites very well. Yeah, we're definitely corralling a big old horde at the moment, aren't we? Um, which if we get caught out, it is going to be pretty disastrous. Um, let's see if we can do some more of these. I don't think I mentioned them, but I meant to. The um the torches or uh, braziers or whatever they are. 
Um, if you destroy those, you usually get something useful out of them. So it could be um, some health back, usually in the form of a roast chicken. Oh, you can get some other, you can get some other random helps as well. There we go. While we're paused briefly for this, uh, I'm just gonna drop the sound, the game sound down just a little bit. There we go. I think that might be a more, a more balanced mix. But again, do let me know. Uh, let me just check on this. Oh, it's all looking wonderful. Okay, let's keep going. So, uh, more? No, oh, no. I was gonna say more notes, but. Magic Wand is very good, because that auto fires at the nearest enemy, which is also good for kind of clearing a print around you. But then so is King Bible, which essentially uh, you just get Bibles floating around you uh, to create some kind of uh, kind of perimeter around you. Which is, uh, that's also good, especially when you get it leveled up a few times and you get several Bibles whacking people around the face. Uh, but Magic Wand is, is pretty darn good, so let's go for that. Um, so you'll see that zapping out now as well in random directions to whoever's nearest. Okay, and... Oh, there's ghosts. Okay, there's ghosts. Uh, so the... I think generally, generally speaking, the as you spend longer in the level, the enemies you encounter will do more damage to you if you run into them. Um, but also the same enemies will reappear later in the level at, uh, at a higher power. So they will do more damage to you than the, uh, the ones you'd faced previously. So these skeletons, oh, there you go, there's some chicken, uh, will be uh, probably uh, not much compared to... Oh, there's some money we left on the ground. Big sack of money, let's have that. That'll help us to upgrade. Um, yeah, so these skeletons will be nothing compared to the later skeletons, for example. And these ghosts, whew, they'll pale in comparison to to later spectres that we'll face. Oh, there's a treasure chest and loads of experience. Okay, let's see if we can get with getting those. Ooh, armor. Reduced incoming damage by one. Ooh, I think different armor graphic from uh, from what I remember. Interesting. Um, that might be good, actually. Yeah, let's get on some armor. Okay, I might have to circle back. Oh no, okay. So there's carnivorous plants. Ooh, that looked like an exciting bag or something. Um, we're uh, surrounded by carnivorous plants. That seems to happen every five minutes. Uh, and can, can uh, put you in some kind of killing zone. I think more so now in the full release version as you get trapped in with lots of environmental hazards as well. Uh, but let's see what treasure we've got. Hope you enjoyed the music there. We've got more Santa water, um, which should hopefully enable us to do a bit more um, kind of random clearing of enemies away from us. The I think yeah, the five minute level is quite easy to survive inside the, uh, the circle of carnivorous plants, uh, but that will get increasingly more difficult. So where I you usually uh, come a cropper in uh, in this opening level is uh, I think well if I can make it to 15 minutes anyway the 15 minute mark so after you've just escaped that particular uh, circle of carnivorous plants oh more whips okay lovely first one more projectile yeah I'll have it oh okay and we got more experience for another upgrade. Okay, gonna go for armor this time. Yeah, so 15 minute mark um, in, when I was playing the demo was when a, uh, a literal wall of uh, pirate skeletons descends upon you. And um, unless you have um, high damage output, you quickly get crashed. So we'll, we'll watch out for that if we get there. But I. If I get to 10 minutes, I think, in this first run, I will be quite happy. Uh, yep, the uh, giant, giant praying mantises. Yep, we've got those. Uh, 
Um, I think the. I'm not sure. The certain weapons give um, a map of, an amount of knockback to the, uh, the enemies as well. So I. Oh, you can. Okay, interesting. So you can fire through the tree, but you can't walk through it. Fair enough. Um, yeah, so that can be a helpful thing too. I wonder if that's been toned down a little from the demo. It's possible. Okay, we're, oh, okay. You see, you do get some swarms of things as well, which if you end up going through them um, and you're not able to uh, damage them very quickly, can can be uh, a bit tricky. Okay, I think uh, we might be getting to a crunch point here, but we're doing okay. We've got 450 coins, which is enormous, frankly. Unless the economy's changed as well since the demo. Okay, uh, uh, oh yeah, the hazards, the environmental hazards make this a lot trickier. Um, which I kind of like. But also I'm having to do some adjusting too. Through the bond? Yeah, nice. Thank you. Okay, we managed to level up one more time, which is good. Um, we definitely will start to unlock some things from this first run, um, just from what we've begun to achieve so far. Um, I think more more damage is probably what we need at the moment. So, come for the. Uh, whoa! Why am I suddenly breathing fire? I don't know, but it's good. Like ball fire. That was exciting. That must have been something that I picked up from uh, from the floor. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Whoa, this um this map is a lot more crowded than I at this stage of the game. Okay, we're gonna have to sweep up the damage output, aren't we? Um, usually going down a road is a, is a pretty good way to run into some lanterns, which can be a source of... Oh, you've got giant kind of like vampire bat things. Well, I'm reluctant to call anything in this game vampire. Okay, okay we managed to do some damage there. And still relatively easy to um, gain experience from the blue gems. Oh, there's a rare, uh, rare albino bat. Um, that was that give us a good drop, I think, if we could defeat it, but I'm not really in a position to do that right now. I think what we should do is see if we can hover up some of these... Uh, oh, chicken, precious chicken. Okay, uh, hover up some of this floor experience. Uh, because I might have to level up at least one more time. Because I've got used to what, um, what kind of... Uh, and find the things I can uh, walk through and which ones I can. Oh, okay. We've got to 10 minutes! That's good. So, what I usually try and do is uh, force my way out so I'm not trapped in there with an enormous praying mantis and uh, loads of zombies and everything else. Ooh. And then. Yeah, we should be alright for a bit, I think. Okay. Oh, long shields from damage when active. I've never found that particularly useful, to be honest. Um, the, ooh, I think I'm going to stick with knife. Um, because it can be really useful to um, get one of at least one of your um, your weapons up a few levels, but it really starts becoming more effective. Oh, I got hey, I got the whatever the orange brick is that makes me shoot fire, um, which I'm pretty happy about because that seems to be. It's pretty, pretty useful. Ooh, I have a chest up there. I don't know if we'll be able to claim it without um, self, self destruction. Okay, so we can walk through the fallen logs. That's the way to remember. Oh, okay. No, it was, it was ten minutes where the pirates turned up. Pirates go into this. 
Uh, hang on, they're not as pressing as they used to be. Hmm. Hey, let's do. Sure, let's. Hey, game, you're helping me out. I wasn't expecting this. This is this is cool. Thank you. Okay, there is a giant mantis there. Um, can I lead that away? No, oh no, we get stuck on the tree. I think we've done we've done all right. Uh, should I get that? Sure, let's do more sand on the top. I think we're gonna gonna get. I'm gonna get killed pretty soon, but yeah. So the I think the wall of skeletons is a bit less dense than I uh, I was expecting, which is is good because we survived a lot longer. Uh, but also, uh, it's, it's kind of more of a lingering demise. There we go. Okay, I think that was a good run. Eleven minutes fifty-two, P pretty good, I think. So let's have a look at our achievements. We destroyed 20 light sources and gained the fire wand as an unlock. Uh, find four fly five floor chickens. Um, so we've unlocked wings and hollow heart. Yeah, so lots more buffs that we can get now. <gasps> Pichon is um is a very good uh, very good new weapon. Cool. Oh yes, garlic. I, I garlic is awesome. I love garlic. So let's go see what some of this stuff is, because some of this I don't recognise. Fire brick or something? Ooh, there are definitely more stats than I remember seeing before. I think we earned a good amount of gold and levelled up quite a few times, really. Um, DPS shows you the DPS of the different things. Amazing. Um, the time that we had for? Yeah, I guess that's what that is. Um, damage they've done. Uh, how what levels we got them to? Cool. Well, let's have a look at some of the things we've unlocked. Um, because I'm curious about them. I think. Oh, so we don't, I don't want this one. But that will show me the achievements. But I want to just have a look at what the things are in our collection. Um, yes, yeah, so we know about whips. Um, ignores, yeah, so certain buffs that uh, these weapons will uh, play well with and some that they will ignore. Armor is good. Okay, so that's a coin bag, that's 10 coins. What's this one? A rich coin bag adds 100. So no wonder we ought to pick that one up. Uh, okay, I'm not sure how you pronounce this. Dua, 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 Fritter? Temporarily emits cones of flames. So is it some kind of uh, spicy food? Is that what's happening? Affected by player stats. Oh, interesting. Drop rate affected by luck. Mm, floor chicken restores 30 health points. Drop rate affected by luck. Cool. So I think mo most things. So coin bags are affected by luck, but uh, the rich coin bag, uh, the fritter, and the floor chicken are as a treasure chest. Cool. All right. Well, let's. Uh, oh, do I want to buy things by powering up? Here we go. Um, I found it was quite helpful to buy the more expensive things first um, because prices increase as you um, as you purchase more. Uh, the Ooh, the amount costs an awful lot. Um, ooh, revival! Oh, that's a new one to me. Revives once with 50% health. Ooh. Curse. Increases enemy speed, health, quantity, and frequency by 10% per rank. Wow. 1666. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess you get that if you want to be more challenged, which is fair. You set your own difficulty level that way. Uh, so greed gains ten percent more gold per rank. Interesting growth. Um, so that's that's the biggie, isn't it? I think, other than the revival, revives once with fifty percent health. That would be that would that's a game changer, really. Um, uh, so do we get one of the low? I think I think we don't get one yet. I think we play again, but maybe unlock Imelda Belpazi. 
gains 10% more experience every 5 levels, max plus 30%, starts off with the magic wand, which is pretty nifty. Yep, let's give Imelda a go. Come on, Imelda, let's go uh, survive. Oh, with first first uh, chance to uh, get a new weapon, and if you offer the Pichon, I'm gonna go for it. You can see that in action. It's pretty nifty. It only gets more devastating as you level out. Not sure if you're supposed to see that circle or not. I guess that's kind of indicating where the Pichon is, is targeting. Yeah. I guess so. It's helpful to know, isn't it? Yeah, I think the having so up with a targeted weapon like the um, the magic wand straight away um, does give you certain benefits. Um, you've got a kind of a buffer around you to, to be a bit more risky with how close you get to things. Uh, ooh, 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 what a choice! So the fire wand, which is a, a random direction but does a lot of damage. Well, gar no, I've got to go for garlic. It's um. I love the garlic. So it damages nearby enemies, so it gives you kind of a uh, a radius of damage, which sort of phases in and out um, all the time, well, as far as I can tell. Um, but it does give you um, a good chance against oncoming waves of anything, um, such as the bats or later on the skeletons. So yeah, if we can we can upgrade that a bit. Um, and if we also unlock I don't think we unlocked it yet, I'm not quite sure what we need to do that, but there is spinach, I believe, which um, causes all your attacks to do more damage. Which is something I would be looking to get. Right, let's upgrade this garlic. Yeah, so I um, I get when I've got garlic on, I get a bit more reckless. I just sort of bash into a few uh, into a few bats. Um, with the here's spinach. Yes, let's get some spinach in. Okay, it's starting off to be a good run, I think. Yeah, you can kind of if you've got the garlic on, you can just sort of brush the edge of a herd of uh, of enemies and um, and harvest some experience that way. Be quite helpful. Okay, um, upgrade the Pichel. So more of those um, arcing attacks will appear. Ooh, there's a there's a good experience thing in there. Let's try and move this group away a little bit so I can circle back around and uh, hopefully. Uh, get that back. Oh, I was a bit reckless and just walked towards the other one there. Never mind. I might, uh, might be able to get some floor chicken somewhere. Oh, they're doing a really good job of um, giving me the chance to upgrade things I already have, which you don't always get. It's randomised. My name she haven't really got much of that so far. That's one of our objectives. It was uh, unlocking uh, through play. Uh, ooh! There we go. 
So there is the, I think once we, um, we need to be lucky in the first place to get it from one of the braziers, but there should be a four leaf clover that we can find, which then becomes um, an upgrade option for level ups and treasure chests, um, which is also good, is that, that uh, then has something of a cascading effect. Um, more garlic, yeah it's got to be more garlic. Stronger, bigger, more aromatic. I'm not quite sure what this, I guess you don't want to end up in that little thing, do you? A little alcove there. And I think enemies can just walk right through it, right? But you probably can't, so if you get stuck in there, it's probably a bit of a kill box. Okay, yeah, so the ghosts and the uh, skeletons taking a few hits are kind of damage. Oh, we're inside the inside the room kind of response. There's a praying mantis trying to walk into a tree. I think there being more environmental stuff um, makes it more likely to for the um, the ring of plants when it contracts to uh, develop more holes in it by escaping. Which is actually pretty helpful. Yes, yeah, so I can get out here if I need to. Um, so that's a nifty effect. Cool. You know, we should check out the pause menu. Let's check out the pause menu. Uh, options. Quit and keep your golden unlocks. That's handy. Um, oh, okay. I wonder where we, when we start to unlock um, additional lore and things, I wonder where that becomes accessible from. I'm looking forward to finding out. I don't know if we're about to get to that in the stream though. Certainly try. Um, definitely, I'm definitely going to try and aim to aim to unlock uh, the first four starting characters and a few. Um, ooh, um, other um, other progress. Uh, oh, fire brick, um, which is the is a fritter. It's a fritter. Um, right. Um, this time, more pichel. Let's get some treasure. Here we go. Are you ready? Yay, more magic wand! I've just spotted over on the right screen there's another treasure chest we can try and pick up. Which would be lovely. Okay, here we go again. And more magic wand! Fab! Okay, so I can't get through the skulls on six. That's fair. Um, okay, so there's bats we can still we can still burst through those pretty effectively. Which is actually handy given that they're streaming towards us at a, a fast rate. Cool, leveling up again. Um I think axe maybe. Go for some higher damage. Okay. Yeah, it's quite nice to burst through a, a phalanx of bats like that and move up the experience. It's quite a satisfying feeling. Um, yeah, so the axe really comes into its own when you've leveled it up a few times. You get a few axes. 
and it will sort of pop up and then flow down again. You can do uh, you can slide through quite a few uh, of the enemies, especially if they're clustered together. Quite handy. Um, there's another one which I think you will unlock later on, uh, the cross, which um, is kind of more boom or any, um, and it's very effective, there's lots of damage. It's, uh, it's definitely a favourite. Okay, I think we might, we might struggle to make 10 minutes in this, in this run, but that's okay. Got, yeah, we've got 400 coins again, so that's, um, that's very good. Oh, oh no, I'm going to get squished against here. Well, that wasn't good. Stay away from the little box of plants. See if we can find any more grazies to to loot. Um, hopes of floor chicken. Yes, hooray! We still have very little health. Now, so let's go for this one as well. Fingers crossed. Uh, coin. That's okay. Okay, we're at the, uh, the giant giant bat section now. We get to level up again. Awesome. Um. Hmm, what are we going to do? I think spinach. Spinach is the way to go for me. More damage across the board. Probably increase our chances of survival for a little bit longer anyway. Definitely get into. Ooh, okay, we made seven minutes. Hi. Right. Um, you can definitely get into a habit of just sort of heading off in a direction, being pursued by a mob of monsters, um, and um, unfortunately doing a little damage and picking up a little experience. Um, so you can survive for a longer time, but not really um, getting any of the benefits from that. Okay, we definitely need to break up here. Oh no, thank not today, thank you, Mantis. Little little special bat I could take on maybe if other things weren't coming for me too. Tougher zombies, you know. Okay. Uh, yep, sure. Oh, and here come the here come the skeletons. And we might be actually better against the skeletons because we have the garlic now. Yeah, that's a bad. So if you sometimes if you're doing just about enough damage output in a local area, you can edge your way forwards and um, and take them out without harming yourself too much. Um, so yeah, we're doing all right really. I think um, if this is the same as previous version I played then uh, ghosts and werewolves become the next big problem. Um, oh I'm definitely gonna get the fire wand, okay. Just can't resist it. It's good, um, especially at higher levels very bad. Yeah we've got so we've got two heavy damage uh, weapons there. We've got the axe and the fire wand. Um, and a good amount of low class damage. We've got a good mix going on. Okay, yeah. Yep, there we go. I, I mentioned where wolves did I? Oh, well, I got melted. They do a lot of damage, as it turns out. Okay. Good run, I think. Whoa, two new achievements. Hold six different weapons at once and reach level 10. Amazing.
Brilliant. Okay, well let's look at... So what do we unlock for the first one? Empty Tomb. I think that reduces cooldown, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, where are these things? Well, let's read about... Is that read about a fire wand? Fires at a random enemy, deals heavy damage. And the garlic, uh, as you've seen, reduces resistance to knock back and freeze, damages nearby enemies. Pichon bombards in the circling zone. Um, where are these other things? Armor, yep. Uh, spinach raises inflicted damage by 10%. Uh, oh, I can't see the tomb. I guess because we might have unlocked it, we haven't picked one up yet. That's probably why that's not in the old collection. Um, power up. So, I mean, I'm tempted to try and hold on for that, but that's gonna that's gonna take a while, isn't it? Um, what's kind of the next the next uh, most expensive after that? I might consider that instead. Looks pretty expensive, six hundred. Growth. That's more experience is nine hundred. Greed is interesting. It only costs two hundred to start with. Hmm. Um, I'm tempted by, to save up for growth because we need it there anyway. Or we can go for maybe armor. Recovery is. Ooh, recovers 0.1 HP per rank. Interesting. Um, duration speed, area. Oh, a cooldown. Cooldown's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, one of those two, I think. Go for next, but we need another run. But we can probably unlock Pasqualina for 110 coins. Uh, Pasqualina Bell pays it. Projectiles get 10% faster every five levels. Max plus 30%. Um, and this is Rune Tracer, which we haven't used or seen before. So let's unlock that as well. So this kind of fires off in a random direction, but bounces around the screen a bit. Um, and lasts for longer. And when you get multiple of them, they can do quite a lot of damage across the screen. Uh, so very, very handy. Oh! Hello. Did this thing appear on the left before? I don't remember seeing that. That maybe I haven't been paying attention. No, I don't think it did. That's a new thing, isn't it? There's kind of like a total... Ooh, a total list of all the things that are around. Ooh, so that suggests to me... That... Oh. Oh. Intriguing. So it's showing lots of things that we haven't specifically unlocked yet. Um, which suggests to me that they might be available in the environment uh, at a certain percentage chance, anyway. So I guess these stats refer to the specific character, because we haven't leveled them up yet. So, yeah, so they've got 10, plus 10% 10 speed, and they've got th Magnet 30, so they'll attract um, experience from a further, from further away. Ooh, that's very intriguing. Um, I'm gonna ooh uh, level up Rune Tracer, I think. Yeah, let's do that. I'll try not to get bitten into by that if possible. Yeah, so I mean, this is Rune Tracer is a good one. But um, it's good to pair that with some kind of directed uh, attack as well. Um, say the the whip or the knife, so you can um, uh, clear more of a path for yourself. Otherwise, you're um, just trying to rely on avoidance tactics um, alone, which can be tricky. Okay. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna try and hit a few braises up for some floor chicken with any luck. Oh, I'll take cash, yeah, I, I'll take cash. Okay. 
let's see what we can do here. Um, let's see if I can create more experience earning opportunities for leveling up. Oh yeah, that wasn't bad. Okay, so if I can circle back to that experience and uh, we might be able to level up. Hoping for something a bit more... Oh, you know what? Garlic would be a really good buffer. Let's get garlic this time. Not directed, but does offer um, a certain amount of personal protection, which I appreciate. Ah, oh, all bats. Okay. All bats. Okay. Can I head? Yes. Oh, yes. So the rune tracer does it particularly good at cutting through groups as well. Um, so that is something useful. Uh, empty tome. Here we go. So now we've that will unlock it in our um, in our collection. Uh, if we select that, reduces weapon cooldown by 8%, and the crown character gains 8% more experience. I'm thinking empty tome this time! And uh, hopefully, we might better get the crown later on as well. Alright, let's see that rare red gem there, which I kind of want to get my hands on. Watch out for the trees. Okay, four chicken, coin mouse, okay, coin. It's fine. Look, <laughs> it's like you lost a floor chicken and found a penny. Okay. Excellent. Whip. Whip? Maybe whip. Hmm, it's not the best. Hmm. I'm gonna empty time again. I'm not sure if it's gonna work with everything that we've got equipped. You know what? It might not even work. It might not work with either of Wing Trace or Garlic, actually. But never mind. It'll work with something somewhere along the way. Great. Let's get. Oh, let's no, let's get more experience. Why? Why not? And then that's unlocked for sure. That can only help. You know what? I really like that you can see the um, the stats now when you level up. Hopefully that will be for every character that we can play. Um, and then you can kind of get more into the nitty gritty of the, the mechanics, which I, I kind of like because the, the gameplay is simplistic and it's definitely a compelling, compulsive kind of loop. Um, which I do need to be careful about because um, I did have trouble st oh, whoa, stopping uh, when I played the game before. I think I'm in a, I think I'm in a good place with it at the moment. It certainly helps to be streaming it and have a defined finishing point. Oh Mexican! Sorry I didn't see your chat. Hi! Um, I've been so focused on, uh, on Vampire Survivors. If you're still around in chat, um, hello, thank you, thank you for dropping in. Uh, it's lovely to see someone. Okay, so uh, let us uh, oh no, let's get magic wand, yes, because that will also help to um, knock people back a bit. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna pause a sec. Oh, you can see it when you pause now as well. I wonder if the um... ooh, so you can see the. Ooh, it's very good. I'm just going to move the chat so that I can see it a bit better, so I don't miss any messages. Because that that would be a shame. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, so I think as we unlock more characters, maybe. Uh, we will get uh, more interesting stuff going on in our level up and pause menus, which I'm looking forward to discovering. Um, I think before I got a bit lost uh, in what I was saying, I was talking about how I'm kind of interested in the mechanics of it because it's um, that's a nice thing to, I think, unlocking the secrets and exploring the underlying mechanics is a nice, um, nice progression path for a game that is at its core very simple, such as this. 
Um, let's get more damage. That is good. Um, yeah. So I, I I very much enjoy that by survivors, although it's um not the narrative focus kind of game that I usually go for. Um, it's definitely a kind of gameplay loop that I'm well able to play one, and um, I'm quite happy to uh, to spend spend time on because it's um it's kind of there's enough there definitely to hold my interest beyond um, just kind of the mechanisms of gameplay. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of colour to it, which I really appreciate. Oh, amazing! Okay, I think we must have levelled up quite a few times now in the first five minutes. That's usually a good sign. Um, oh, I can augment the max health, which is cool. But I think we're gonna try and get. The weapons leveled up a bit more. I think we're going to need that, perhaps more than the uh, the max health. So that does also rely on us finding something to increase our health in the first place to take advantage of. Oh, hello! There's two treasure chests out there. Okay, let's see what this is. I'm going to have a sip of water while this uh, unlo uh, unloads. Yeah, I guess it un it's loading and unloading, isn't it? Uh, garlic, yes, excellent. More treasure, please. Room tracer, great. Oh, hang on, I'm not the right one. Oh, no, oh, phew, everything froze for a moment. Thought I was a goner. No good. Okay, I'm trying to get stuck in these trees. Oh, okay, firebrand. That's cool. Um, I never could really work out the business. Clearly, um, a fixed map. It's not a randomly generated map. I don't think every time. I don't know whether it um, is just really, really big or loops or or what's going on there. I never see. There's definitely no edge to it, so I guess it just loops around. Uh, more garlic, more garlic for sure. More health, yes, please. Yeah, it's also quite easy to go into some kind of hypnotic trance whilst playing, so uh, forgive me if I go silent for a minute. My mind might have wandered off into the into another realm. There we go. Um, yeah, navigation's getting a little little tricky. There's definitely a high density of monsters in this area. We need to survive. Oh, I took some unnecessary damage there. Oops, so, oops, okay. Some, <laughs> made some strategic errors, I think. Um, let's. Bump up the magic wand because that's the, the least leveled of all our weapons, so if we can get a bit more at that, that would be cool. Definitely 
definitely can be better to just do a few things well, um, I find. Okay, I think we're kind of at a good, fairly good damage level, but uh, we're low on health, so any floor chicken we can run across would be handy. I think we sh uh, should hope to be able to make it to 10 minutes again, that would be nice. Um, we've got 376 coins, which is definitely not a bad haul. So we should. Um, I can't remember how much it costs to unlock the. Um, the fourth character, we can have a look. On Hogan, we can maybe get one of the 900, uh, 900 coin upgrades and also unlock the final character as well. That would be cool. Um, how was it before? Ooh, an hour! Wow, that went very quickly. That's also the thing with this, uh, <laughs> this game, it's very easy to lose time to. Which can be a good and bad thing. Great, okay. Um, magic wand, you say? Yeah, that's magic wand. Okay, let's get out of here. We, uh, we're kind of two thirds health, which is not a bad place to be. Um, how are we going to fare against the skeletons, do you think? Not for long, I don't reckon. We might make it to the ghosts and werewolves. We might do. I'll have to come back for that money later if I can. Alright, let's. Uh, Oh, another big pyromantis. Yeah, there you go. Let my sneaky ploy work. I managed to get the money. Okay. Still fairly near the... Oh, okay. Now it's... You know what? So Rune Tracer does really well through the skeletons. Um, I do. Oh, I kind of can't be too cautious because that that praying mantis is uh, making a distinct beeline for me. I'm not to get my insects confused there. Okay, if we can kind of just stay one step ahead of the mantis, we might be all right. Uh, this is for a little while, a little while longer. We'll be able to level up again. Ooh, more money as well. Okay. Ooh, character moves 10% faster. Which can be good. But more spinge? Yes, please. Um, definitely. Definitely seems to make a difference to uh, surviving a, um, one of these crunch uh, sections. You can do, do just that little bit more damage. Okay, let's try and make a little space for myself. So eventually we'll be able to get permanent upgrades to things like speed and damage, um, which will just, just slightly, slightly start to ease um, all these things. Yeah, more we'll ring tracer, sure. Um, okay, we got melted. We got pulverized by werewolves. Okay. Well, not, again, not bad. Oh, we found a rosary, did we? I didn't notice that. <gasps> but that means we've unlocked the cross. So I have five minutes with Pasqualina. Awesome. What did we get for us? Oh, because we've got the green tracer. And you wouldn't have unlocked that? In? Oh, okay, interesting. Hmm. Okay, so, uh, well, uh, shall I take a, yeah, I'm going to take a quick five minute break. So, I'm going to say,
back in five in the chat. And we will indeed be back in just five minutes. See you in a minute. Okay, we're back. Let's see what we've got in the way of cash. 1,269 coins. That Hopefully that's enough to unlock our last character. Let's definitely get the power up first. I'm going to go for... Show for experience. Cool. Cool. Let's go for the cooldown. There's only two of those to get, isn't there? Now everything costs a lot more. Well, some things cost a lot more. It will um, it'll be alright though. Right, so let's see if we can get that last character, who is Gennaro. Gennaro Belpese. Are they all Belpeses? They are all Belpeses, okay. Gennaro Belpese, permanent plus one projectile, all weapons. Now that's really good. Um, you can get, it may be, I mean, we might unlock it through, oh, we can't unlock him, 600. Oh, Gennaro. Okay, well, let's pick one of the others who, I mean, Imel, I think Imelda's pretty good for having a, um, a solid run where you can pick up a few more coins. So we need to get to 600. Um, so we need about 2, 230, don't we? Which we should be able to do to unlock Gennaro. Um, because then we might be able to unlock the duplicator, which will give us uh, the ability to um, add extra projectiles to everything for um, any of the characters, which would be very, very nice indeed. Okay, straight out of the gate, let's get a fire wand. Let's do it. See if we can get that to a certain level. Um, new weapons, uh, new extremely more powerful versions of weapons will uh, unlock if you get um, some of the base weapons to their their final their final form. If you uh, get them all the way leveled up, um, you can unlock kind of the uh, this epic version, the legendary version of that weapon. Okay, let's get an axe. Let's go for a, go in for um, heavy damage dealing. If we can. Surprise for you. The surprise is we didn't need it. Cool. Well, if we can keep this up and maybe level these, uh, these damage dealing, high damage dealing weapons up a bit. Then uh, we should. Just walks into a zombie there. Um, we should be onto a good thing, I think. Um, more axe, please. Yes, two axes, good. I think they get, they get a little bit more perk, and, uh, and obviously, duplicate axes uh, can do a lot more damage. Oh no, I wasn't prepared for that. No. Thank you. No thank you. Now now I need four chicken. Really. Same I couldn't have uh, saved the uh, the previous chicken in a doggy bag or something for later. I think that was just a coin, wasn't it? Oh, hang on, let's brace you down here. Let's go for it. Right. Okay, uh, we can pull this back. Let's get some garlic. That's probably going to be a valuable buffer at this point, actually. Alright, so we do really, really need some... Uh, we need some chicken if we can get it. 
otherwise this run might not last very long. But then, you know, sometimes, oh, ho, 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 yeah, I'm not getting there. Sometimes that's the way the you crumbles, isn't it? <sighs> okay, I'm whew, living dangerously at the moment. Okay, well, can't win them all, can you? We got six coins, wow. <gasps> Defeat a total of 5,000 enemies. Oh, and I locked a lightning ring for it. Amazing. Well, we didn't contribute much with this run, but... Yeah, that'll do. Great. Okay, well, lightning ring is... Um... I think that's actually the starting weapon for uh, a character that we could unlock later on. I think a second row character from, from what I remember. Well, let's just let's go again. Same start, and we will have the same objective of trying to earn 200 and a bit coins to unlock Gennaro. Hey, lightning ring. Should we show it off? Yeah, sure, let's try the lightning ring. So it strikes a random enemy. So it's kind of an area, a random area attack, um, like the holy water. But it starts to cover more area and get more uh, frequent and so on as you level it up. It's pretty nifty. Not, not my favourite, but may. I guess maybe more useful in other circumstances. So I've never played beyond this um, this first level, which is quite uh, broad and open. Um, I imagine further levels will go on to be a little bit different. Ah, now so we can see that this character has a minus three cooldown um, and has a magnet thirty. I wonder if everybody starts off with a default magnet thirty, and then that can go up or down. Yeah, so the cooldown not too great. Um, let's get axes again. Axes are pretty good. See if we can get that up one or two levels. That could be really useful. When you get um, slightly more powerful, it's, uh, it's a bit easier to um, to draw some of the uh, the enemies after you and to target specifically one of the uh, one of the more powerful ones to um, to get either the the big experience drop or the, uh, the treasure chest drop. Um, if you're stuck kind of a little bit faster and do that a little bit more damage. Well, yeah, we did manage to get the um, the red gem there, so I'll see if I can um, do a broad circle and work back to it. In the meantime, we can fire one more axe projectile, yes please. Um, any chicken in here? Don't think that was chicken. Um, cut. I'm hoping we will come across one of the big uh, big coin bags. Even if it's just a, a, ten, a few tens will help a lot, actually. Okay, yep, 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 lots of bats. Seeing these bats. And here we go. Here's the experience that we've been searching for. Okay. Um, what would I like to. Well, let's get more lightning. Why not? As we're going for it this time. That was a pretty good haul of experience there. Awesome. Um, more axe, please. More damage. Yeah, it does. Um, when you upgrade its damage, it's in, it's in big chunks. Uh, so that's um, that's kind of the way it becomes most effective. Yeah, it's got it's got its most utility as a as a highly leveled weapon. But I guess you can get um, some pretty good utility out of some of the others at uh, lower levels. Oh, 
I feel like we, we kind of got this under control at the moment. Yeah. Um, more magic wand, sure. Is that also, um, it's kind of, um, it's a fairly, uh, fairly low damage output weapon, I would say. But once you start to get several, um, several projectiles coming out of that wand, you're doing all right. Oh, 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 you're offering me cross. I'm definitely going to have cross, so let's show this off. So that's a nearest enemy kind of attack, but it does, uh, I think it's the nearest enemy comes. No, it's simply random direction. I think. What is it? No, it's. I think it is nearest enemy. Um, but then boomerangs off in the other direction, um, which can a bit like Room Tracer, um, cut big, big swathes through um, through groups of enemies, which is very handy. It does also um, do a lot of damage as well, so it can be really helpful for um, uh, approaching one of the really uh, tough enemies doing lots of damage to them. Okay, we've got a nice experience field here, so I feel like we can probably clear through to another level up without too much trouble. So we will attempt that. Yeah, I'm going to have to get out of the way pretty quick. Yeah, more cross damage, please. Oh, yep, yeah, uh, we're quite hot enough on the buttons there. Okay, let's get more cash. And a coin. Yeah, I'll try and work my way back up through this, um, this pretty impressive field of experience gems. Cool. Alright. I think more magic wand. If we try and invest more in the four weapons that we've got, and then maybe get. Oh, mind you, if Garlic turns up, I'm not going to say no to it. And, um, yeah, so those four perhaps plus Garlic. And then what I'll try and do from there is get some of the buffs going as well. Maybe spin, well definitely spin if I can get it. Um, more projectile? Yeah, sure. Oh, it's a big money bag. Yes, please. I'll make this trip a bit more worthwhile. Yeah, take that bag of 10. Thanks. We're definitely heading further towards our monetary goal, which is good. Ah, chicken, amazing. Um, ooh. I'm going to get the. I've got to break the lightning. I'm going to concentrate on the. Um, the damage output, I think, at this point. Oh, the rotating arrow indicates there's probably a chest over here that we, we missed. Let's go back for that. I think we can probably get that without too much personal risk. What's it gonna be? Yeah, more cross. I'll take it. And base speed up and base air up. Yeah, great. Hey, and a natural level up as well. Ooh, so more magic wand or I'm gonna go for spinach actually. For base damage up. Hey, just random floor chicken. Excellent. Oh, 
Okay, uh, yeah, just just there yeah, now, but I'm gonna have to kind of get out of its out of the way of some of these things. Um, I hope to come back to it, I think. Otherwise, we're gonna be in a in a moribund state. Uh, no, no, no. Oh no. Oh, where's that floor chicken now? Oh, okay, going up was a mistake. Going down was a mistake. Oh, okay. going there is a mistake, for sure. Oh, okay. Well, things took a little time for the worst there. In good news, we've probably got enough coins to, um, to unlock Gennaro, so that's, that's one of the main things, really, isn't it? See if we can get this chest before we release off it. Yes, we can. Okay, this is an incoming horde of of creatures from the right hand side to worry about in a moment, but for now let's just enjoy our present. Yay, more crosses! Okay. Oh, and another level up! Brilliant. Uh, spinach. Just trying to get out of here. Right, so next hit and I'm down, but on the bright side, is there a bright side? Yeah, yeah we've, got, we've, got, we've got money, that's the bright side. Uh, oh, I'm just going to have to kind of get lucky, aren't I? Oh well. Oh, it's big bat, it's big bat time. Nine minutes, I think. Nine, nine minutes is pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. At this level. This current level will be at. Oh yeah, I think the axes and the crosses are working. It's starting to work for us quite well now. Um, especially with those zombies. You see. Getting, whoa, those bats were <laughs> a bit too fast to react to. Okay, okay, I think that was a success. We didn't unlock anything this time, but that's kind of how how it goes. Um, I think that was good. Great, so let's plunge straight back in, but this time we can unlock Gennaro. So we get plus one projectile to all weapons. So we start off with two, two knives, and then any other projectiles we get, we get start off with two with. Two off. Start off with two off. That's what I meant to say. Pretty nifty. And if you um yeah if you mash the uh, mash the directions well enough then you can get them going off in two different directions. Which is pretty cool. As you can probably tell as the uh, number of uh, enemies on screen increases, the number of attacks increases, things do get pretty uh, visually and uh, orally uh, confusing on screen. Oh, let's get the cross. We get two crosses already. That's brilliant. Yeah, so it gets pretty intense at later levels, to be honest, but um, certainly in the demo version at least, you can definitely get to a certain point where your attacks are just so powerful that you can just basically stand in the centre of the screen and uh, all oncomers are, uh, are wiped before you. Okay, I guess we're, we're going to aim for 10 minutes again. It's not going to work if I keep looking at the bats, is it? Um, we'll aim for 10 minutes again and maybe like 300 coins as a it's a tentative goal. How about that? Oh, 
Okay, uh, level in with a magic wand, sure. Yeah, because that will immediately have two, two things, will it? No, it's only got one. Okay, maybe that doesn't count as a projectile then. Oh no, it has got two. Sorry, they were so close together that I couldn't tell them apart. That does count as a projectile. Excellent. Um, Oh, I'd, 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 kill, I'd kill bats for some garlic right now. Um, let's, should we get more knives or more, da more damage, I think? That's not greedy, we've already got two knives. And we literally can get greedy, this is a, it's an upgrade. But, you know, I wonder if there's uh, some kind of um, unrevealed downside to greed. I don't know. Interesting mechanics and thoughts. Take that. All right, what are we hoping for? You don't get anything new usually, it's only an upgrade to um, something you've already got. Unless you get, well, we haven't had one actually yet, so far have we? Um, we haven't had any luck uh, things come our way. But when we start to do that, you might get a chest that has multiple items in it, and sometimes you can get uh, a new, discover a new buff that way. Um, cool, okay. And um, we get to level up as well. Let's take an axe this time. So we've got some pretty good damage dealing. Oh, it's a floor chicken I can see. Let's head towards that. Yeah, we do pretty well for damage dealing at the moment. We've got some high damage weapons. Um, and they've been multiplied by having a plus one to them, which is very handy. Oh, see the little tree. Can, but not the big tree. No, it's stuck in the. I thought it was Oh, the top. Oh. oh, okay, it's only the base of the tree that I can't walk through. Get to it. Okay. Um, yeah, let's focus on something that we've already got rather than. I was tempted by the Pichon, but keep things going with the axe because that will help us to clear up a little bit. Okay, yeah, so I feel like we're at a good damage output level for this point in the game. So that's encouraging. Um, let's get more spinach. So that should, um, should prep the way for, for the next few minutes of game. Let's get this floor chicken as well while we're at it. I've got... Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, I'll just kind of keep circling around for now as long as the um, the enemy density stays low. Mm, let's get that axe damage up. Okay. Oh, now so. I haven't got any garlic, which I would really quite like. Um, rune trace is very good. I'm going to go for rune trace. Um, there's only a limited number of spots. Spots? Yeah, spots weapons. Um, so I think I only have six at a time. So I'm going to save the last spot for garlic, which hopefully we'll get come across before the end of the session. The end of this run, rather. Yeah, so I think we're, getting, we're starting to get a little flavour of the, the bullet hell vibe that this, um, this tends towards at higher levels. So I'm going to go for more spinach again. So yeah, once you start doing a fair amount of damage output, this first um, circle of carnivorous plants, um, not too much trouble at all. You can usually, uh, usually take out the, um, the occupants of the circle. Not too much trouble. The um, if there's a praying mantis, that usually takes a bit more effort, but 
um, if you can kind of give it the run around, you should take it out. Yeah, so it didn't cause us too much trouble there, which suggests we're in a good way, at least for now. Um, I'm gonna... Let's do Magic Wand, I've been neglecting that for a while. Um, let's go up to level 2. See what's in this fire. I uh, didn't see what that was, but hopefully it was good. Yeah, I'm hoping we find a 4-leaf clover actually, because I think you need to find that as a random drop from the braziers before um, you can start getting that as a regular regular buff. Um, so hopefully somewhere on the way we find that. Oh, more treasure. Okay, here we go. Yay, cross! As the, um, the attacks get more frequent and more intense, uh, they do come to dominate the soundtrack. So let me know how the balance is for you. I can always tweak the sliders if um, if that helps. Uh, let's let's go, go cross again. Let's just go all in on the cross. It's a very effective weapon. Oh yeah, sure. Let's take that. Can we get that chicken? Can I get? Can I get that? Can I? Can I get the chicken? Thanks. There we go. Um, ooh, ooh, okay, that weapon. Probably shouldn't have hung around for that chicken in second, uh, second thoughts, but never mind. Ooh. Yeah, garlic would, would be handy right about now. Oh, 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 I got mashed up by, uh, by some zombies there. But, 277. Oh, survived five minutes with Gennaro. We unlocked the Pummel Roller. Ooh, I wonder what that is. I guess we can't. Can we look at that? Let's have a look. Nice. So we know about all those, don't we? Um, oh, yeah. So, Rosary destroys all enemies in sight. Did that happen? I don't remember that happening. Hmm. Okay, so I don't know about the Pomeroli yet. Uh, let's see, we can... Well, hang on, I kind of want to go for the next... What's the next 900 one? The growth one. So we kind of want to hang on for 922. Okay. So let's pick... Do we want Gennaro again? Or should we go back to one of the others? I'm thinking... I want to give Pasqualina another go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, stuck on the skull. And a coin, yes. So what's our aim here, really, to ha try and hang on long enough to get about 500 coins, which could be a tall order. Now let's, let's see what happens. Oh, there's some experience we can go on. come back for later. Oh no, I'm stuck in a tree! Okay, I'll, I'll try to leave that floor chicken there for later, because who knows when 
then that'll be needed. Okay, if I move back up around here, yes, yeah, some experience I can get. Excellent. There we go. Um, I feel like Magic Wand is probably the best option of those for now. Kind of our best chance of directing things at the moment. Brilliant. Um, I feel like we probably need the knife as well at those ones. Definitely helps to have um, a weapon that fires in the direction you're currently heading. Well, let's see if we can. Yo! Wow, I'm amazed we smashed the skirt of those bats, to be honest. There we go. Um. Okay, there's a chest to come back to at some point. Um, when there are fewer, fewer bats near it, hopefully. Um, upgrade Rune Tracer? Yeah, sure. Kind of our main weapon, is it? I me remind myself with the um, with the pause menu as to what, what our current stats are. Okay, let's go and blend my way. Yeah, I can. Cool. Lonely skeleton hide. Okay, let's go for it. Do you want? Yeah, let's do it. Find one more for Yeah. Okay, so. Um, yeah, so extra speed, uh, reduce cooldown. Yeah, so nothing particularly extra there. I suspect those will start to change as we, we get our, um, our permanent upgrades. Okay, let's so zoom in. Oh, okay, we're living up as well. So, let's get more experience? Let's try that. In theory that will um, that will lead to more frequent level ups and therefore being more more powerful earlier in the game, which is helpful, potentially. For survival. That's a good time for a chicken, kind I of think. Okay, there's plenty of plenty of gems around here. Let's level up. Oh, garlic, yes, please. with that pirate skill on there but um, let's do more knife well no I think oh I, w I was in I think I was actually safe but then I overcorrected and walked into a different skeleton you know how it is Got a few options. Should we go for Hollow Heart? We haven't used it so far, have we? Let's go. Let's go for Hollow Heart. It's um not not one I favoured previously because um, it does rely on you finding a source of health to get you that extra bit of health in the first place. But 
Well, I feel like we should give it a go. Some of the um, upgrades to weapons uh, by getting those to their maximum. Ooh, power armor. Captain covers 0.2 HP per second. Let's do that. Um, as I was saying, sorry. The uh, one of the, some of the weapons upgrades when you get them to their final form uh, do rely on you also having a certain buff uh, active as well. So that's a reason to kind of experiment with those a bit more. Okay, we excited about this Pomerola. This is a new. This is a new thing to me. Great, level three Rain Tracer. Yeah, I'll take it. Great. So we've got some passive. I love a passive. Uh, I love a passive ability. So passive health regen. Excellent. I mean, it's a it's a very low level, but I'll take it. Yeah, I guess this makes the running away a bit more effective, doesn't it? If you've got the old Pomerona active. Cool, we've got 300 coins already. That that seemed to happen quite quickly. Um, and I am looking for 500 ideally, so we can, we can give that a go. Oh, you know what makes the difference is the treasure chest, isn't it? Because you get, as well as the upgrade, you get a lump of cash, which is represented by the number on screen at that point. But that's usually the least exciting thing to look at, so uh, I do forget that it happens. Just having them literally walk through the woods with some zombies at the moment. That's how I like to spend my items. a little bit of experience at the moment. Let's perhaps wend back where we've come from. See if we can move up anything from previous encounters. Ooh, these zombies are a bit tough. Okay. Oh no, that, that went badly. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't be quite so damaging, but they are apparently. Well, I don't think the Pomerol is really going to cut it in this situation. Unfortunately. But you know what, this might be a floor chicken. No, it wasn't. This might be a floor chicken. No, it wasn't. We've got a good damage output, but our health is, uh, is lacking. I mean, the Pomerola, to be to be fair to the Pomerola, it's done a, done us a good job here, but we are going just about to perish. Oh no, hang on, don't... Oh. If I hadn't got stuck on that tombstone, I might have made it past the red robe zombies. Never mind, that was a good amount of cash, I feel. So let's go in and do that again, but this time let's take... Gennaro with us. That'll be good. Ooh, so what next? Uh, fire wand, yes. Yeah, double fire wand. That's a pretty good, a pretty good opener, isn't it? 
Oh, I'm stuck among the spikes there. I'm excited by the prospect of Pomerola. I think garlic and Pomerola are my, my two favourite two favourite power-ups. Baby Cash, don't mind if I do. Yeah, nice thing about um, the fire wand is that it does fan out. So the the more you level it up, uh, the more enemies you're likely to be able to damage in one in one go, which is pretty handy. Yep, garlic, yes, please. Okay, I feel like I can probably do a little circuit around here and level up one or two more times, probably. So I probably want about 200... 200 coins from this run, if we can. Which, hopefully if we get a treasure chest or two, shouldn't be too difficult. Still looking for that four-leaf player as well. Oh, oh. Still looking for that four leaf four four leafed clover as well. You know what? Talking and playing game at the same time is difficult. Okay, uh, what should we go for? The whip. I don't really favour the whip. Let's get some armor this time. Okay, why not? Armor, garlic, pomerola could be a good combo. Spinach, yes please. Okay, yes, yeah, so we're making light work of the bats currently, which is good, uh, because that should should be a good source of experience, hopefully. This early stage. Haha, uh -huh, Pomerola, yeah, Pomerola, okay. Oh, so I've got it already, I've got the, I've got the garlic Pomerola armor combo. I want to see if we can just keep, just keep leveling that up, see where that gets us. Okay, not bad. Um, in this case, I'm going to get the ooh, fire one to do more damage, I think. But the um, the knife, an extra knife projectile, was very tempting there. I might do that next time I get the opportunity. Oh, floor chicken, amazing! I think the floor chicken did more healing there, which I maybe that's a uh, side effect of the pomerola. Could be. Yeah, let's see if I can pause a sec. Um, is that recovery is 0.2? Max health is 100. And, oh, because the max health is higher for this character, so the chicken does more healing, possibly. The amount is plus one for this character. Everything else seems to be the same. I think, or has been affected by what I've already um, equipped. Cool. Anything else in the options for me to? No. Okay. Cool, okay. Yeah, I'm interested when new new characters will unlock and when uh, new menu options will unlock as well. And we've probably been playing only for the two hours, yeah, of the stream. Wow. It's got in a flash. I um I think I would probably like to stream this again. Um, see if we can get a bit further and find out more of these secrets. Okay, let's get more Pomerola. Ooh, 
Oh, okay, I don't need that for chicken just yet, so I'm going to see if I can leave that one for a minute. There's one there as well, awesome. Ghosts, okay, the ghosts are quite so easy to take out at the moment. You know what, I'll take that floor chicken as there's a few around. What did 42 damage? Yes, yeah, so it's definitely affected by common, isn't it? Because we've upgraded that since we last got our last floor chicken. Cool, well that's very handy. That's a handy side effect of that that I wasn't expecting. Okay, we're in the, oh wow, we're only at the five minute mark. I felt like I've been playing um, this run for longer than that. Uh, sure, more power on. Yeah, let's just do the. Let's go pump. Whoa, okay. That was that was not a pleasant encounter. Okay. Now we'll go, go and get this wisely left uh, floor chicken. Let's just see what's in here. Oh, I don't need the floor chicken right now. And one coin's not going to make a massive amount of difference, so I'll leave those things right now. No, oh, I keep that back then. That's okay. Um, see if I can kind of run away but kind of fire back at these, these guys. Could do with a little bit more leveling up, I think. If we can help that to happen. Oh, oh no, 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 Okay, zombie goes in a couple of, couple of hits of the garlic bubble. I mean, I hope, hopefully it's gone without saying from uh, from your own observations about the game. But one of the things I like about it is it's not really not taking itself seriously um, in terms of uh, of its uh, I guess its atmosphere, its world building, um, and that is um, I think to its benefit. I feel like Wapamana. I know that I should probably be focusing more on the weapons things at this point to increase my damage, but the chance of passive health, I just can't pass it up. Oh, money. Oh yeah, we're not doing very well with money, we haven't really got any... Did we get... I don't got one chest! You know, one of the, one of the dangers of uh, Vampire Slums is that the runs do tend to blend together. Uh, in a good way. Um, and it feels like a, a seamless, continuous experience. And this is so fast to get back into when we've um, finished a run, which is one of the many good things about it. No, 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 don't want to get stuck between a zombie and a rotting place. Yep, yep, or my experience please, thank you. Okay, we're not too far from leveling up, which would be handy at this point. Let's see if I can run around and regenerate some health. Uh, maybe have a look at what's in here. A coin, sure, I'll take it. 
I think the, um, if we were able to defeat the Albino bats, that would give us a... I think that would give us such a... Oh, wow, there's a chest there from the uh, Grey Mammoth. Let's see if we can double back for that. Um, I'm going to try and nip through here. Is that possible? Uh, not very easily, no. Oh, okay, there's more bats. If the bats push some other more uh, more damaging monsters ahead of them, you can be in real trouble. Well, luckily, that didn't happen this time. Okay, bats, I kind of need you to go away so I can get my chest sticks. Oh, we've got to 10 minutes. Okay, cool. Yay! Uh, 185 coins, that will help enormously. And more fire wands. Yeah, sure. Faster and more damaging. Okay, I'm going to try and get out of this situation. Um, go on the hunt for some floor chicken where possible. Been, definitely been lucky with floor chicken this, uh, this run. Let's hope we continue to be. Usually when you most need it, you don't get it. There's quite a lot of experience around as well, so we should have to level up soon. Here we go. So we can level up. I'm gonna get. Yeah, so I haven't got a knife past first level, so let's, let's concentrate on the weapons a bit more. I don't have had the option of doing anything about my armor recently either. It's just the way the, the random generation goes sometimes. Oh, it's pirate time. Okay, how how are we how are we set for taking on pirates? Do you think? Not not very well. All right, let's get get pulverized by skeletons then. Um, you know what? That was all right. Um, yeah. Nice to test test out that pomerola. So, uh, we've got over 1,000 coins, so we should be able to power up um, growth. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know if we've unlocked anything new here. No, I can't remember what, what triggers new characters to to come in. Um, let's have a look through the unlocks list, shall we, for curiosity. Oh, okay, so reach level 20 in the Mad Forest for something. Um, and then there's an inlaid library, a dairy plant, that sounds interesting, and the gallo tower. Um, let's have a look. Ten minutes with Panula Panyala? Fifteen minutes with Panyala. Um Gio Ooh, there's a cat. Ah, oh, I want the cat. Fifteen minutes with Giovanna. Popea? Conchetta? So twenty minutes with any character. Uh, 20 minutes with Crotchy. Crocky? Survive. Uh, 20 minutes. Oh, wow. At least 10% curse. Oh, it's about 30 minutes with Llama. There's so many more characters than I know about. Oh, hello. So if I get Fire One to level 4, that looks like a character unlocks. I get the Lightning Ring to level 4, that looks like a character unlocks. Okay. We will. I mean, it's kind of end of stream time, isn't it? But let's give one more go. Um, to unlocking some of these characters. Oh, get, who's this character? Get guard to level seven. <gasps> pentagram. We don't even know what a pentagram is. Oh wow. Okay. Get Tarona's box to level nine. I don't. I don't know what a Tarona's box is. This is so exciting. Okay. So I think <gasps> we're not. So that character. I think the easiest characters to unlock are going to be. The Fire Wand and Lightning Ring to level 4, so that's... We'll do one more run and try and do either of those things. Both those things if we can. Um, who shall we... Uh, attempt that with? Imelda? I feel like Imelda's the good... The good base one to go with. And we've got uh, improved... Yeah, improved experience gain as well. 
So, that should also help with our progress. Okay, now I've got uh, goals. Okay, um, none of those are the things. So let's just go magic wand. So lightning and fire, that's what we're looking out for. I guess, yeah, it's been rare that we've got anything to level 4 thus far, so that makes sense. I feel like the... Did I do cooldown? I did do cooldown. Yeah, I feel like the uh, magic one's firing a bit faster than it used to. Which I'm certainly not complaining about. Great. Um, none of those things are the things I want, but... Uh, Moon Tracer's pretty cool! Let's go for Moon Tracer. Okay, let's uh, get some spinach. Yeah, sure. Let's see what's in these. Yes, there we go. To come back down there because there's quite a few gems left on the ground. I'm still hoping I'll be looking to get either the lightning ring or the fire wand. Hey, that was lucky, that was a chicken. I won't say no to garlic or pomerola, as you know. Uh, ooh, but I will pick Lightning Ring over Garlic in this instance. That's one of our, uh, our goals currently. Oh, yes, we haven't had the Fire Breath for a while. Hey, that was good. Really handy. Um, let's get the lightning ring up because that's yep, that's what we want. So I'm thinking that the um, the person we unlock with level four lightning ring is going to be someone who starts with the lightning ring because we don't have one of those characters yet. And likewise for the um, a fire wand, we get to do that one. Um, let's do Rune Tracer in this case. Yeah. So we can have a slightly more effective Rune Tracer. Oh, there were a lot of gems down here. We need to nip back up as nimbly as we're able to. <sighs> Some lovely chicken. Some lovely health chicken. I'll save that house to for later. Mm. 
Ooh, good. Um, I guess I'll go magic wand this time. Recycling through the things we've already got. Try and survive this arena first, and then go for the chest. So, uh, what are we going to do against these zombies? Oh, very well, they're pretty tough compared to us at the moment. A skeleton is not a problem, particularly. Ah, great, okay, we've got a bit more leeway. Anyway. Let's get down to that chair. Let's hope there's not too much standing in our way. Um, let's grab some chicken on the way. No. But more experience and treasure. Nice, good amount of coins as well. And more interest, okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Almost leveled up. Okay, so fingers crossed. Oh no. Lightning in there, unfortunately, but let's get our damage up with the spinach and we'll carry on, carry the cycle on. Yeah, well, definitely went off into a chance for a minute there. Okay, we're kind of doing alright. Not, not really pick up the experience at the moment. Which um, might be a problem. Oh, and uh, these bats are definitely also a problem, and my bit is going the most advantageous direction isn't helping. Yeah. Okay, well let's do a level up. Um, fire wand! Yeah, it's good anyway, even if it wasn't one of the things that we were trying to level up. Um, okay, so I kind of... I need to go for some more uh, survival tactics, which might be looking for chicken. Yeah, definitely looking for chicken. And avoiding uh, enemies until we can just level up a bit more. Oh, money. That will always grease the wheels. No, not in there, thank you. Um, right. So we've only managed to get lightning to level 2. I've only just picked up the, the flame one. So... Oh, my chicken, brilliant. Okay, so we're back to full health. That will help. But I um, need to be doing a bit more damage, really.
uh, to, to survive for any length of time. So, uh, Take, take this so far. Oh, hello. There's a chest. We want that. Um, probably can't get to it right now without painting ourselves on several bats. Okay, well, that's uh, it's something to aim for, isn't it? Let me come back to it. Oh, okay, we're at the 10 minute ring, okay, already. Well, these guys can kind of stay in here for a bit while I go and look for this chest. Yeah, but um, the plant should at least hold them back a, a bit. All right, what's this? Hopefully it's either the flame or the lightning because that would be helpful. Yes, okay, lightning, so level three. Yes, base area up by 100%, base damage up by 10, sounds great, thank you. So that should cause a bit more chaos amongst the monsters. And... Then... Sorry, it's good. My thoughts were completely distracted by the um, green uh, green gems and the red gem that I can see somewhere now over on the right hand side of the screen. Let's see if I can get safely over to those. How's this uh, dun coloured zombie doing? Not too bad. Okay. Uh, uh, more damage, yes, please. Okay, I'm kind of doing alright health wise. Money wise, this is a good run. So I, I definitely, we're definitely not losing out in any way. Um, we're not really equipped for the skeleton influx, unfortunately. So this is likely to be perilous. Uh, yeah, we're not doing a lot of um, area damage um, immediately around us, which is kind of what we need to. Uh, to survive this section, so this is probably where this one ends. We got really close to doing the lightning one, didn't we? Okay. Not bad. Not bad, I'd say. Alright, so we didn't unlock either of those new characters this time around, but got a good amount of coins. And... Let's see... Um, what could we power up next time we power up? I'm tempted actually to hold out revival seems cool but that might be something that i do after i've done everything else i want to do and just get playing for ages and ages um i might want to save up for a mount next and then once we've uh climbed over that summit then everything else will seem a lot easier um, but yeah so that's five thousand coins and i've got 623 at the moment and I will spend some on unlocking characters for sure. Right, lovely. I think we're going to call it a stream there. Uh, we've got a little bit over. But thank you very much for joining me. And um, thanks for anybody who's um, popped by to um, to watch. Thanks to Maxicam for popping into chat earlier. Um, it's always lovely to hear from people. Um, if you'd like to see more from me, you can check out uh, my YouTube channel. on Consequences on YouTube. There's a link in my Twitch bio to that channel. Typically, I play uh, games other than this, really, uh, other types of games, adventure games, role-playing games, some strategy and some puzzle games as well. Um, so if you want to check out any of my Let's Plays of those, YouTube is the place for that. This VOD will also end up there um, fairly soon. And um, I think, because I'll be streaming again this time next week, I think I will stream Vampire Survivors again. I think it would be nice to get a little bit further and unlock a little bit more of the game on stream. Um, if we can get some of those codex entries as well, I'd be well into that. So 
yeah, I think that would be an aim. I don't know how early into the game those things start to unlock, but um, yeah, I'd really like to give it another go. So I think next week, more Vampire Survivors. Um, see you then. Until next week, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.